Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. I'm gonna show you cleaning on 16 millimeter film, and this applies to Super 8 and 8 mil as well. I'm gonna capture um, the first minute of a reel and then clean the film with Film Renew from Urbanski Film, uh, and then retransfer that so you can see the difference of when you clean film, uh, what can happen. And I have not seen this film. All I know is I've been transferring um, another part of the film and it's been uh, it's about 70 years old uh, really good quality so this is the last reel that I'm uh, doing here so I have a Tobin Cinema System machine 16 millimeter and just gonna do a raw capture here through it's real quick and easy through Elgato rather than going through Final Cut and all that uh, for the sake of uh, speed here with YouTube. So um, these machines made by Clive, Clive Tobin up in Spokane, Washington. He's no longer in business. He has since retired, um, but uh, he was and is a genius back in the day. Got the camera right here, magnifier, and is shooting straight from the gate in here. Um, there is an LED uh, light source in here. It's cold to the touch. So you guys that know 16 millimeter and bulbs on all of these things, you touch them and you singe off your fingerprints. Um, so uh, without further ado, I'm gonna loop this. And here's the program, it's all plugged in. It's coming out S-Video on the back of the machine here. And uh, we'll just let it loop. And you can see on here already there's speckles of uh, dirt and such. So let's start the reel there. And those of you that have not worked with film before, it is very fiddly, especially with 16 millimeter, it moves very quickly. So if you're not paying attention and this isn't perfect, um, I have already inspected the film for splices to make sure everything is legit so it's not going to eat up the film but to the untrained eye you might be like oh, okay this is a really nice picture but i can see all these speckles sometimes that is actually on the print because yeah, there's a dirty gate and roller inside of the camera um but uh sometimes not so um it's capturing right now so 40 seconds i'm going to just stop it right here and uh, rewind it. I'm just gonna keep this video rolling live. Uh, you can skip through it, there's chapter markers at the bottom. Uh, but if you do have 16 mil film, eight mil, super eight, super eight sound, 16 mil with sound, I can transfer all of these formats to digital, uh, delivered via cloud, digital download link via Dropbox transfer, um, or on a USB drive based in Phoenix, Arizona. I've been doing this a very long time. And uh, if you are in Phoenix, you can drop off with an appointment. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just gently easing this through. And there we go, we're coming to the end here. So then once we get through this part here, um, we will, uh, let me just cut this right here, of course, live TV, and let's see, see, even knowing what I'm doing here, this can still get caught up, this is all very old stuff, it's very fickle, very annoying, um, let's put it politely sometimes, uh, so here we're gonna put this on the, uh, switch these around. And this is just an Elmo uh, CL series, which are fantastic, they're fantastic. And just gonna, so clean lint cloth here. Back up a sec, it's like doing a cooking show. Uh, film Renew from Urbanski Film, Larry Urbanski up in Chicago, fixes all the Tobin equipment and does film supplies as well. Fantastic ch chap, been doing business with him for 15 years, probably more than that actually. I've got in a squirt bottle here, so this is a lint-free cloth, 
Um, there are other ways to, uh, you know, machines for cleaning. I've tried everything and honestly, this is the best way. There's no real easy automated way with this stuff. Um, watch this. I haven't touched this film, but I bet you, look at that. Boom. Even though the film looks fine, um, it is not. So I'm gonna give this another squirt right here and try not to pass out. There we go. So again, just keeping this film running live. And if you wanna fast forward, you can, or if you like enjoying, you enjoy watching YouTube videos, making dirty things clean. So to speak, I watched those videos with the guys that clean the clean people's yards for free. Somehow I get all of a sudden I go, what have I just been watching? And oh my god, the guy's got 10 million hits. So look at this. This is filthy. I'm kind of moving it around, reapplying as needed. And this isn't just one ah, and then you get static electricity like mad because we're in arizona <laughs> stop it we're in arizona come around this side um and it's hot, ah, hot and dry right now so it is static this is woo. watch your fingers look at that that is pretty gross so now what i do is switch it around because right now it's backward. Don't touch me, because no, because um, it is gonna spark. Okay, and let's do this. Okay, this is all so much fun, isn't it? And Sydney's the cameraman behind. He's uh, the protege, my son, who. Finds this all very boring. Um, okay, here we go. Clean bit of lint again. Now you can notice I've already cleaned this once, but watch this, even on a second pass. Oops, shit, there we go. All right, here we go. And watch this. Still more dirt coming off. I mean, you could go all day long with this, but it's... Uh, and get out of hand. Uh, and this doesn't harm the film at all. No static electricity, please. Hold on. Ooh! <laughs> Stop. I'm the one with all the energy. I was doing this earlier and sparks were coming off my fingers. Give him a little squirt. There we go. This one reel has destroyed this rag. Um, you can get the rags at Advanced Geek Film as well. And uh, there we go, we're almost done. Look at the color of it now. It's still, it's like wet, but it does evaporate. Oh, it, do <laughs> it doesn't harm. The only thing that harms you is this static electricity, which is driving me. Ooh, there we go. Got it. All right, watch this now. I'm gonna put this back on and see, look, look at that now, look, color. So it's still, it's still, uh, still wet. So that's good. So I'm gonna give it a new coat, a fresh coat look. All right, here we go. We're gonna. Fire up this, we're gonna do 16 millimeter two. Okay, and I'm gonna keep this rolling. There's still some tiny bits on there, but it is nothing like it was. Um, Uh, I mean, it's still got bits on there, but that's on the actual print itself. But look at this. I'm going to take this off. 
and then you'll be able to see. Oh shoot. Um, yeah. But look. Hold on. So there's the camera, and there's the gate there, and magnifier. So there's all the guts of it, and pretty nifty stuff. And I've been using Tobin's equipment since. Uh, 2008? I think I actually made the guy retire because I have all my YouTube videos. Everyone swamped him with business over the years. But I believe these, this particular model, when I was about, uh, it was close to 10 grand. So, um, yeah, they're not cheap. So here we go. And then. So now we have uh, two, fo two files. And I don't use Elgato for, for typical catcher stuff, but it is really, really good because there's no rendering involved or anything silly. And, if you, and the file sizes are really, uh, it's all MPEG-4. I mean, you're looking at 17 megabytes there. I know there's some people on uh, YouTube right now going, oh, you should be using the blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, with home movies, yes, if you're charging $100 per foot and you got all the time in the world, then uh, so be it. But if you're looking for a nice clean capture, here we go, it's two side by side. Let's have a look here, try and line them up. There we go. Yeah, you can see, look at all the crap on there versus there. Can you see it? Is it coming out? Yeah. Yeah, a big difference. You see the difference, Sydney? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is very, very clean. I like it. Anyway, there you go. So just a little bit of fun education. If you do have this old stuff kicking around, um, I can transfer it. I'm not here to shove got memories down your throat, but if you need quality work done, and you're seeing, you know, you've got stuff that's near and dear to you and you really want it uh, done by someone that you feel comfortable taking care of your precious stuff or if you've got archive stuff or if you work for an institution or government or anything like that, I do it all. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, have fun with it all, guys, and uh, all the best. Cheers.